to another video. In today's video, this is a very exciting one. I am going to show you my new house tour. Yes, me and Jay got a house together and we're just so excited for it. It just feels so right. And when I tell you guys we've been looking for a home for the past two years, like we have been looking. We've gone to so many viewings, we've put in offers, but especially during like peak COVID everything in where we live, like Richmond, Vancouver, BC, the real estate market is like so unbelievably high right now. The prices of houses and just the amount that people are willing to overpay right now for a house has been very challenging for anyone to buy a a place but still it did take us two years several offers many house viewings and many many hours of deciding what we wanted in a house until we finally got our house but it was all worth it and like they say every no is going to lead you to a greater yes and that's what this house is for us so his first time walking in to our house okay let's go shoes off mm-hmm <laughs> wow. Yeah. Is, uh, I'll give you guys a quick spin. So this is her all empty. Yeah, this looks like I love how you can see. Kind of, I love how you can see the trees through the windows there. Yeah. From here. So welcome home, babe. Hey guys, I'm home. Now let's. Hello. Humble abode. 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 Yeah. Now we just have to get all the furniture and decorate and clean, and then yeah. it's ours. This is wild. Yeah. <sighs> this is his first time here because he didn't come yesterday because he was working. So he's going to be inspecting everything, I bet. So we're going to go do a little bit of that. But yeah, that was just a quick spin of what the front entrance looks like. We have very tall, vaulted ceilings, which is very nice. Yeah. It's like 20 feet and I love the height because it just makes the room feel so much bigger and you're just, mm, you can breathe. Oh, this is just to show you reality. Wow, I am so excited to move into my house. There's just, I get overwhelmed really easily. And every single day, there has been something that has been just like back set on the move-in. Whether it's like the furniture, um, things that the owner didn't previously like set up for the house properly for when we moved in. And I haven't finished packing and I'm at work and I'm just super stressed out. I'm on my break. So sitting in the car having a good cry sounds Perfect. So this is just to show you that yes, I'm super grateful, but I'm also allowed to be grateful and stressed and have emotions. So that's where we're at today. So they are inside. Oh, it is. Kelly, they put in there together. Hi, my babies. I know it's scary, but it's okay. You are safe and you are home. I'm so excited for you. You are safe and you are home. But yeah, today has been extremely hectic to say the least. So we had Telus come this morning. So I was here all morning getting our Wi-Fi set up in the house and making sure everything was good to go. And then I had to go home and finish packing because I have not packed and I have to go to the grocery store to get stuff for Jeremy for his birthday party tomorrow. I don't know. I'm feeling good today though. Yesterday I was like delusional. Today I'm feeling okay. So I'm just gonna unpack. Jay's brought in a bunch of like clothes and like our food and stuff for the fridge. So I'm gonna do all of that. And then I'll probably have to go back to the apartment. So I'll try and keep you posted, but moving day is always crazy. It's also not that interesting. It's just me running around looking crazy, trying to get stuff done. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So as I'm showing you around, there are a few things that we will be changing, a few things that aren't installed yet, but we are getting all around to all of that. So let me show you the house. So just to start at the front doors, before these were completely see-through, like clear glass, you can see in my house, out of my house, and I don't know, I just don't really like that, especially if someone like knocks on the door, I don't want them to like see into my house, see if I'm home and like watch me walk up to it, like I don't know, I find that really creepy. So we already went ahead and we installed just 
like a, a tint over the back. So now you cannot see in and you cannot see out. And I'm so much happier with that. And it also makes the like black design of the door a lot more prevalent before it was just kind of like looking through clear glass. So that is one little thing that we have done in the front entrance room. And then if we turn over, we have our main, this is just like the family entertaining room. So for this room, I just wanted it to be really like eye catching because it is going to be the first thing that you see in our house. So we started with this really nice black ottoman and this is just resting behind the couch. And we just have some little decor on it. it, makes it feel like home with like a little picture frame of us right at the door. And then we get some baskets for under here. But for now, that's just what the front is. So this is our gas fireplace. So this one will like heat up the house. And it is very tall. Our ceilings are about 20 feet tall. So we needed to add some height. So right now we just have some tall candles, some dried eucalyptus, all that good stuff. We were gonna put a mirror there, but you'll see in the dining room I put one there. So I'm not too sure what to put here. Cause if I put art, it has to be like really tall and then that gets really expensive. So I don't know, I'll kind of figure that out as we go. So it's absolutely just super tall all the way up. And then we have really nice vaulted ceilings up there. And they get even taller into that main entryway that I was showing you before. So this is coming right back down. That's Jeremy's little office. Don't really need to show that. And then that's the ottoman. And then we have this beautiful Beauclair couch. So as you can see, it's like that like pilled texture, but it's so, so comfy. I was worried that it wasn't gonna be comfy, but it is so cute and so perfect for this room. So we have that couch here, just a little coffee table with some decor. So I have my candle. We got those coasters. We got some matches. I just like it to all look really put together and then the rug to warm it up. And then over here, we have another little ottoman with a down to earth interior design book. And then these are like the flameless candles that last forever, the everlasting candles. So I love this room. I think it came together really nicely. And then right attached to that family room is our dining room. So one thing I really wanted for the dining room table was like a round, half rounded bottom there. And I'm so happy I found it. This dining room table is absolutely gorgeous. And then, yes, we did get like white-ish chairs. So they're called oatmeal. Super risky. I get nervous. Every single time someone eats on them, I'm like, do not drop your food or I will, I will end you. So then as you can see, I have the full length mirror at the end. Something about that to me is just so like, I don't know, communal. Like sometimes when you're on this end of the table, you just don't get to chat with everyone. I just like having a mirror in there and I just like seeing everyone. I don't know, something that I really like. And then in the back corner, I have my fake olive tree and I love fake olive trees. If you want a fake plant, go on Amazon. I'll link it below. Get this olive tree. They have five inch, six inch, and seven inch. This is the six inch, and I'm in love with it. It's absolutely stunning. Now, as you can see, right now we do not have a chandelier in here. We took it down yesterday, and we are gonna be replacing it with that chandelier over there just to make this room a little bit more modern. And then hopefully we will eventually get rid of that wallpaper, but we'll we'll wait on that for now. And then we have our main living room. I absolutely love this room. So we have this super comfy couch. Like, do you see how massive this is? I can just roll around with it. When I sit in it, I just get like lost. Like I can just sit here with my tea and just watch TV. I love this couch. However, they did say the cushions were like removable. And I'm not gonna lie, my cat peed on it two weeks after we bought it. This couch is not cheap. <laughs> so I tried to remove the cushions to wash them and it was near impossible. So I've already talked to the company about that and they might send me a replacement cushions just because they do say removable, they say washable. And it's just, it's very hard. I got them off, but I did like tear a seam a little bit doing it. But regardless, gorgeous couch, love it. And then we just have these two little uh, ottomans here. These match that front couch. 
I just have these fake candles, which look gorgeous at night, and a little plant, which leads to our fireplace. This one does not let off any heat into our TV. We will be changing this entire stand where the TV is. Um, just because when we moved in, we didn't notice at first, but it's actually like cracked all the way down and it's hollow inside. So eventually that will just tip over. So we got to figure out what design we want there. Not sure yet. And then we just have this little coffee admin here. I will get a photo for that. And yeah, this is really the living room. We have this really nice um, woven knit rug from Article. It's super comfy. And, and this one just covers the entire living room here. So then directly from the living room, we'll go right into the kitchen and we start here. So for the kitchen, there are a few things we wanna do. Now, as you can see on the covers, they have that kind of like crisscross design across it. That's not really my style. So we're gonna get all that ripped out off of the cupboards. We're gonna keep the original cupboard and then just knock that glass out and put clear glass in all of these ones. And then just all the ones up top, we're just taking off that design as well. We're also changing the chandeliers. I'm just gonna get some like pendant lights. I already bought some, but I didn't like them, so I returned them. And I'm just trying to pick ones that will match the vibe of the house and the kitchen and just flow nicely. So we're gonna change the chandeliers, changing the cupboards, and then we're changing all the like knobs on all the cupboards, actually in the entire house, cause they're all like crystally. And you know, I guess maybe that was like a vibe six years ago, but it's just not for me. Like when Jeremy's mom came here, she said, I love it, it's so Kim Kardashian. And I was like, yeah, maybe in like 2001. So those are all gonna go. We're just gonna probably get like matte black knobs and just um, handles to go around the kitchen. But overall, I really like this space. It always just feels like clean and somewhere that I'm like excited to cook in. But we don't actually cook in this main kitchen because I'm not sure if this is common like anywhere else in the world, but where I live, most newer builds, you won't find a house without a walk kitchen. So this is kind of just like the kitchen you don't really use. You like prep in here or something, but we don't cook out here. So like, I don't, I don't cook over there. Uh, we use the walk kitchen, which is like a teeny kitchen. So I'll show you that. And yeah, I don't know. Let me know if that's like common anywhere else, but where I'm from, that's just, that's very common. So as you can see, this is the little like walk kitchen and this is where like our oven, our gas stove is. Ooh. So this is where we actually like cook, cook. And then out there is just kind of where we like prep and get everything ready. But yeah, that's the little walk kitchen in here. This area is kind of just like a little nook and it really doesn't do anything for us. And whoever built this house made everything so tall. Like do you see these cupboards? I'm 5'5", five five. I'm not super short at all. And like everything in this house is just so tall, it's built for giants. Like, what am I gonna do up there? Nothing. So a lot of our cupboards are actually like that and we just want a little bit more storage. So I think we are going to take this entire section out and then from like this door frame across, we're just gonna have like a little pantry where we can like store things and just make it more usable because right now it's just not really functional for us so that's going to be kind of that area so i have my wooden spoons in a little vase my pants some vegan cookbooks but this little purchase is my favorite i got it on amazon it's just a paper towel holder but it holds it like up high so it's kind of like more hidden absolutely love this i will link it down below because they have different colors but this is literally just the best purchase and it's just stick on so I didn't have to drill any holes or anything like that. And I have my cats over here. This is their little food and water dish. Yeah, hi buddy. Hi Otis, you like the house? Yeah, good boy. And then their little cat post. So this is definitely one of my like favorite parts of the house. We really wanted that indoor outdoor living concept. And I'm so happy we found this because it was only in one of the other houses we saw in the past two years and it was something that we wanted to install if we couldn't get it, but we're lucky that it had it. So I'll show you the store.
section opens into our backyard, which is awesome. But I mean, I also live in Canada, so we get to use this maybe two months of the year. Like we can go outside, so it's gonna be really cold. But when it is warm, woo, we're gonna take advantage of this, okay? And today, it, it is warm. It's warm up today. But tonight, it will be cold. Can't win at all. We have like our patio furniture from our old patio right now from like our apartment so it's super teeny but we moved in here at the end of summer so there's just not much patio furniture so we'll get new stuff next year and then Jeremy's accountant sent us the egg chair which is super nice we also have the TV out here which will be really good in summer for like UFC nights and stuff like that because we, we love to watch all that so that would be really fun back here and it's just fully covered. We have built-in speakers up there. We also have built-in speakers throughout the house that just connect through our phone so we can play music. And then this is also really cool. This is one of the biggest selling factors of the house for us too. Um, it just fits into that indoor outdoor living and also just like kind of feeling like you're in an oasis when you're at home and like you're on vacation. So this is the outdoor kitchen. It does, it's all um, propane, but it does have like the burners, the grill, and then as well as it has the barbecue. So we've been using that a lot. Jeremy has been barbecuing like every night. And I tell him every day, I'm like, you have so much chicken cooked, but he just likes a barbecue every night and he manages to eat it all. So I'll, I won't complain. We have the hot tub over here, which was actually broken when we moved in. They did not tell us, but it did have a leak. We noticed right when we filled it. So we got it fixed yesterday and we'll probably start it up in like two weeks because we're going to California next week so we don't really want to have that power running when we're not here so we'll get that going in about two weeks time from now but that is just going to be so relaxing and we're so excited for it we also have like I strung lights above it and these lights are set on a timer so they turn on by themselves every single night and then they turn off at like I think I turned them off at 11 p.m. So yeah, they turn on and turn themselves off and it just really makes the whole backyard look so good. I will also link that cord in down in the description box below because I find this so helpful because there's no way I'm gonna go outside every single night in the cold to turn those on and off and they just look so good. So I ordered this like timer cord. It's just this right here. And I ordered this on Amazon and it's just an app you put on your phone and then you can schedule timers and it has two different cords so you can do two different things to it and I find that so helpful because it just sets the mood for the house and I don't have to do anything I do it once and I'm done <laughs> and then our backyard's also really private so we have the bushes that go along it which we're getting cut this week we have our grass and then just our gravel path all the way around so yeah, overall the backyard is just super calm, serene, and there's just so much we can do in it. And it's our little propane fireplace. So that's like the main components of the downstairs, but there is something really cool, which I haven't showed you guys yet. I swear this house is just filled with surprises. Like every corner I take, I'm like, oh, something cool, something cool. <laughs> so I don't know, I just love it. And I'm super appreciative for this house and just like be where we are in life. And yeah, I'm just so proud of Jeremy and everything he's done and just his hard work and drive because we wouldn't have this without just, him so I'm very appreciative for him and I love him but let me show you one of my favorite rooms this is our movie theater room yes you heard that right our movie theater room this room gets the most credit it has speakers it's pretty soundproof in here we have the chairs you just relax back here press a little button my feet go up my head goes back and it's all connected to the projector up there this room is unreal i also have it stocked with like 
movie snacks because who wants to go into a theater without snacks? And I'm huge on like little details. So I stock it up with all of the snacks that you could probably want while watching a movie. We usually have this completely stocked too, but we've had quite a few people over lately. Um, so the past few weekends, so that is just a running low. And then it does have a full washroom in here too, so you don't have to like leave the room. Um, but yeah, movie snacks, drinks, everything. This room is the bomb. And we also have the PS4 in here and we've been playing some F1 on it. So that's been awesome. Jeremy loves that. And then lastly, we just have like the mud room, which is where my cats sleep and where I do laundry. But this room is massive, I'm not gonna lie. So we have so many litter boxes just cause you know, I want them to use them. <laughs> not my house, not like when they pee on my couch. And that's where they sleep at night just so that like they're not wandering the house and peeing, I don't know, gives me anxiety. But yeah, they are allowed outside. So that is really the house in like a full spin. I'm not gonna show you upstairs just cause it's just like bedrooms. And I don't know, I find that kind of weird. My office is up there, I could show you that, but it's nothing special. But yeah, I don't know, you don't really need to see like my bedroom where I sleep. So that is the downstairs of the house. Like I said, we're not done. There's still little things we are doing to it, but I'm just super excited to share it with you. We have been here now for three weeks, which is crazy. It feels like, honestly, it feels like we've lived here for a very long time and not in the sense that I'm not appreciative for it. I just feel so comfortable here. From the moment I stepped in this house, like it felt like home. And I don't know, that's such a like, nice experience to feel. So it feels like I've spent like a lifetime here, but it's still so new and I'm still finding new little things every single day in the house. I'm like, oh, we weren't told that's here, like built-in vacuums and stuff. Like I didn't know that those were built into the walls, but yeah, I don't know, I absolutely love it. And I hope you guys enjoy the way that I decorated it with the help of course of my interior designer. Um, we picked everything out together, so that was super fun, and I'm just excited to see what else we do to the place and all the memories we make here. So on that note, I hope you guys have a beautiful morning, evening, night, wherever you may be. Just have a beautiful day today. Oh. <laughs> a little cozy there. <laughs>